So you want a rare Ferrari. Forget about F50s and F40s. You want one of these. A 348 GT Competizione. 50 made in total, only eight right-hand drive. Coming soon to collecting cars. Let's have a little go. Oh, yes. Today's brief drive of something coming to collecting cars soon. This 348 GT Competizione, rarer than a French service station stake. We'll go through the numbers in a minute. These cars are beginning to look rather special to me. Let's go for a quick squirt. Right inside, you're looking at a dog leg, five speed gearbox, as is standard. 348 interior is aging really beautifully, actually. To me, it looks better inside than a 355 now. These seats look familiar because they are. They're from an F40. Split rim, speed lines on the outside, straights down the side. I mean, it looks like a pimped up Testarossa, doesn't it, the 348? It's a really, really good looking shape and it's very short overhangs. It's aging beautifully. So the most important thing about this car is don't look at it as a power enhancement exercise, look at it as a weight reduction exercise. It's got, they claimed, about 10 horsepower more than a 348 because of a, a, a more breathable exhaust. The rest is kind of the same, but it weighs, wait for it, 200 kilograms or so less than a standard 348. That's a massive weight reduction. So everything that looks big and bold is made of Kevlar, really. And you can see the weave coming through it. I'm told it's all original panels. But take 200 kilograms out of a car, you end up with something a lot, lot faster. Have you ever wondered what car is fastest? Well, we're going to show you. This is a wild ride. Chris Harris, this is Landau Laps. So, GT Competizione 348. This is interesting. This car does feel light. And if what you're supposed to compare it to is a, let's say a 964 RS, this must have easily had the legs of one of those back then. Because it feels light and it feels quick to me. First things first, I think this is the last Ferrari or the last V8 Ferrari to have a dogleg gearbox. A dogleg manual automatically, just excuse the pun, makes the experience more special. I've got a beautiful thin little steering wheel, which I recognize from my 512 TR actually. Same, uh, I'm sure it's the same thing with a little plaque in the, in, the, in the front there, which looks gorgeous, feels gorgeous. It's thin in the hands. Why is steering wheels so thick and horrible now? This is just a lovely thing. This has, class leading steering, as we used to say on old car back in the late 90s. Gear change is light and good. This engine is not considered to be Ferrari's finest moment because of course, on the back of this, they put a five valve head on their next little V8, small H V8, and they created the 355. This is well down on that in terms of power. I think the 355 is 400 horsepower. This is early 300s. But the car is light, and this is a very, very smooth engine. Maybe it's unfairly unloved, because it feels quite special to me. The noise, well, all of these Ferrari V8s with that particular crank don't sound great. So it doesn't sound like a V8, but it's got a sort of hollow appeal to it. Very responsive, with so little weight. If you whack your foot down, it goes rather nicely. Loads of torque as well. This is much, much more pleasant driving experience than I'd expected. It's really rather lovely. Got to do all your heel and toes and your d clutches, otherwise it doesn't really work. These little brief test drivey things are always a little bit frustrating as you can imagine, but it's January and I'm driving one of eight right-hand drive lightweight Ferraris. What's not to love? What happens if we put our foot down a bit? Yeah, this is, this is quicker than a 964 RS. Great noise, F40 seat, unassisted steering, dogleg gearbox. Struggling not to really like it. And from the outside, isn't the 348 shape looking rather good these days? I know this cutted my face in half, but I can't really do much about it. You know, sun visors and stuff, don't really work in Ferraris of this era. Special car, 51,000 miles. So she's done a few miles, but I'd rather a car have been used, wouldn't you? Here's something weird about it. There's no squeaks or rattles. Are you hearing anything? There's literally nothing. Gearbox is good. Oh, 
I think really, really special thing. If you've got the lineup of all the rare Ferraris, this is like a minor service on an F50. You need one of these in your collection because this is the rarest of them all. It really is. Dog leg manual gearboxes. They're just the best. This was never on my radar, this car. It is now. Lovely thing. What a lovely thing. This is the entry point into super exclusive Ferrari motoring. You can turn up to any event and say mine's rarer than yours and it probably costs the same as, as I said, a minor service in their car. Imagine seeing the bloke in the F50 and going, they're common, mate, should have one of these. We're thinking about get bidding. <laughs>